Hi, I'm Deja. And I'm Brett. And we're, we're here, here with your announcements. announcements. The pumpkin decorating challenge is on here at Rob's. Teachers and staff members are challenged to decorate a pumpkin to display in the learning commons. Pumpkins can be brought in Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday morning of this week. Judging will take place on Friday, October 28th at 10 a.m. And the categories include most creative, funniest, best ROMs, most traditional, and best in show. Students, challenge your teachers to be the pumpkin decorating winners. Attention all students interested in becoming a member of STAND. The first meeting will be held today from 3 to 4 p.m. in Ms. Dean's room, 111. All grades are welcome. For any questions, please see Ms. Dean. Do you have a book that's overdue? This is a reminder to please get it turned in ASAP. Overdue book notices will be going out at the end of this week. The Neon Dr. Dotart will be visiting classrooms this week during the week. Check out what you can get this week. Parachute keychains and neon bracelets. Watch out for the cart on your scheduled day. 7th graders today and 8th graders tomorrow. Leap teachers, please send only students with dog dollars who intend to purchase an item. Attention Spanish Club members, there will be a meeting after school this Thursday, 27th from 3 to 4. We will be creating decorations for the upcoming Hispanic holiday, Day of the Dead. Please see Ms. Gerard if you are joining, if you are interested in joining the club. Mission or Mission State, support your team tomorrow, October 27th for Spirit Day and Jar Wars. Support your team by donating to containers designed MSU or U of M. The school with the most money donated will have their fight song played during passing on October 28th. All donations will go to the Karen Regan Fund. Last day for intro basketball is Friday morning at 6.45 a.m. Attention all students who are writing an essay for the Optimist Essay Contest. Mrs. Bruckman is staying after school today and will have the Chromebook card in her room if you are interested in staying after to work on your essay. If you want to come in and just chat about the contest, feel free. Hope to see you in room 206. All essays are due on November 4th to Mrs. Brockman. Cookies are being sold tomorrow due to Friday's half day. Now please stand for your pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Not to Alyssa with your weather. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here with your weather. Today will be a high of 46 and a low of 43. Now for your joke. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? He had no guts. Now to your sports. Hi, I'm Danny, and I'm Kennedy, and, and we're, we're here with your sports. sports. The Rollins co cross country team completed their first final this this time this season in the league meet yesterday. Scoring for the boys were Connor Myatt, Tommy Gardella, Drew Maletsko, Weston Schroeder, and Michael Wozniewski. Also running were Jamal McClung, Julio Jaime, Con and Connor placed third overall in the meet, and the boys team took fifth out of the 17 teams. The girls also competed with top scores being Erin Snyder, Ella Cazetta, Mary Azale, Sydney Dirkavorkin, and Emily Frega. Also running were Sophia Flores and Shannon Schulte. Erin finished with 10th overall and the team took second place out of 17. The teams end their first official season with boys at 4-2 and the girls at 5-1. Great season runners. Don't forget to turn in your uniforms to Co Coach Wines Weiss this week. The 7th grade girls basketball team won their 7th game of the year being Anderson 29 to 8 the team beating Anderson 29 to 8 the team played a great defensive game with a balanced scoring attack Regan Blackwell and Emily Jenkins led the team with 6 points followed by Quinn Blackwell with 4 points Amelia Mikos is one of the other players that scored in the game the 8th grade girls basketball team improved to an 8 and 1 on the season one with 18 8 win over Anderson yesterday the team played another great game defensively. Sarah Sorhan had six points, Rachel Sorrow, Tope Adesanya, and Nicole Morehouse, Katie Crossman, Natalie Harrison, and ne Lexi Ronsberg all contributed with baskets. Good job, girls. Both teams next game is Thursday at Hazel Park. In association news, the Spurs beat the Warriors last night and the Cays beat the Knicks. Last evening, the Indians beat the Cubs 6-0 in Game 1 of the World Series. 
Hey, 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 Hockey Town. The Red Wings won their fifth straight game last night after beating the Hurricanes 4-2. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Danny. And, and that's news to me. me.